there's two ways to level up. Number one, you complete the main mission. The second way is there are the XP modes. Complete all four of these missions. If you look at these missions, it's 9,000 experience points just for one mission. I need 39,000 experience points, all right? Settlement mission. And just like that, 18,000 experience points. Stronghold Patrol, another 18,000 experience points. As you can see now, I've got 36,000 experience points. I just need 3,000 more experience points. They've got the Lost City, this Salt Rifle. <laughs> Let me look at my level again. So, AC 39,420, maxed out already, bro. This is how you level up. There's two ways to level up. Number one, you complete the main mission. How do you look for the main mission? I know it gets a little bit confusing. Sometimes you get stuck in the game and you're wondering, what do I do next? Where do I go? What do I need to complete? The very simple rule of thumb is make sure you look at the top left-hand corner of your screen. So this tab right here is where you get all of your information. This tab, very simple, at the top, it's got the list of your missions. At the bottom is where you can create a team, you can join a team. If you're already on a team, that's where you go. If your boss recalls you, you can. If you are the leader of the lobby, if you want to recall your team members, those simple stuff, that's the bottom, that's the flag, okay? This is where it shows you all of your teaming up, etc. Completing the main mission will give you experience points so that you can catch up with the rest of the server. On top of that, if you have missed one or too many days there is something called current reserve xp this is what it's called okay so as you can see i've got a lot of reserve experience points mainly because i missed out on a couple of days so it carries over what the game is trying to do is it's trying to make sure you are at the current level where you are supposed to be so the game is trying to help you here so they keep some reserve xp for you what happens is there's an experience boost Whenever you do complete some missions that gives you XP points, you've got basically a multiplier on that XP. So you gain more XP so that you level up faster than other players who have been grinding on a daily basis. So you might think like, wait a minute, that's unfair to the guy who's grinding on the daily basis. It's not. This mechanism is just built there to make sure we have as many people on a necessary level because in that server, certain missions will open up. Certain missions need you to be at a certain level of strength or level, etc. So this, this balances it out very, very well. They also have a server limit. And some of you guys might think, dude, what the hell? Why do they have a server limit? This is so annoying because I want to level up way beyond that. This is once again done to protect the environment, to protect the community who's in the server as well because you're going to have people like me who are gamers and they're going to be able to grind the shit out of the game. They're going to be able to grind non-stop and they're going to outrank you in every single way through the levels alone. They don't want that. They don't want the imbalance in the game. So they put the server level cap there. Now, don't forget the homestead level cap. Yes, there's such a thing as well. Now, if you're, if you're new to the game, as you're leveling up, you might see this warning. Your homestead level is not high enough or your homestead level is too low. It's one of those two. It basically means you need to level up your homestead immediately or else you can't continue to level up. So all you need to do, it's very easy to do this. Go back to your homestead. Go to the homestead management signboard on the outside click on it and then select upgrade now at the bottom here what you'll see is you might need some materials for this upgrade all you need to do is just go ahead farm it come back click upgrade and continue leveling up the second way is you click on your calendar here the schedule on a daily basis let me explain the first thing first there are the xp modes which is the current recommendation you have 9000 experience points here 9000 here 9000 here 9000 here complete all four of these missions and you're gonna get some good stuff. Now, when you complete these missions, you can also see here there's activity zero over 20. And if you look at the top here, you're gonna have a daily activity screen. Dude, you wanna complete your daily activity because it gives you a ton of rewards. See, it's a, it's a no-brainer. First of all, these four missions you must do in order to really climb your levels. I'll give you a simple comparison point, right? When you go and do your main mission, you get about 600 experience points. 700 exp yeah it's it's nonsense bro okay but you have to complete it because that all adds up as well but if you look at these missions it's 9000 experience points just for one mission it gives you 9000 you've got the booster 18000 sometimes so it's a ridiculous amount of experience points 
This is how you level up. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see activity mode. You can see requests for supplies, daily supplies, etc. You want to complete this, especially if you're in a camp. This is so crucial if you want to get benefits from your camp as well. You're in a camp for many, many reasons. Number one, you want to help the rest of your camp members grow so that you guys can do missions together so that missions become so much more easier. The higher the levels that you reach, for example, on the Astral Tower, yada, 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 the more the rewards, the bigger, the more... Come on, man. You want to grow. You want to grow together. And this is a bloody easy way to do it, right? The activity part is not part of leveling up, but it is the reward for why you want to level up. Because if you're thinking, ah, whatever, man, I don't want to do the daily missions, but this is a really good reason to complete the daily missions. I've, I've told you in depth as to how to level up. Now, let me show you leveling myself up. Once again, I'm not going to go up a level because I'm at level 49 already. But as you can see here, my XP bar is empty right now. I need 39,000 experience points, all right? I'm at zero. I'm just going to go to my daily missions here. So schedule settlement mission. Let me go and complete this first. I want to accept a Raven Shelter mission. So let me just complete this mission real quick. Okay, now this guy, I've got my... No problem, Jose. Okay, so now you look here. Instead of mission, my top left-hand corner, I've got all of the things that I need to track. But if I go down, this is what the side mission is, right? I need to complete my daily mission. It's telling me what I need to do. So at no point, because I know sometimes the game is not super clear with the instructions, but it's because the guide is already there. You just need to find the guide. Quick travel to the next site, because I don't want to waste time. Shit. Bye, bro. Because very straightforward stuff. And look at that, experience points, 18,000. Like I was talking to you about earlier on, it was only supposed to give me 9,000 XP, but because I'm on an XP buff right now, okay, see my reserve XP available to convert because I didn't play a couple of days. You guys are going to have this, especially if you want to catch up with the level of the server. You're going to have this, you just have to complete the missions. And just like that, 18,000 experience points earlier, we started off at zero, now we're at 18,000. And as you can see, we've got a cap of 72,000 XP that we can earn today. But that's a problem. I only need 39,000 XP. Do you see how this is working out? I don't even need to complete all of these missions in order to catch up with my maxed out level. I don't need to complete them. Stronghold Patrol, Lost City, Outpost Commission, all of these require a few number of players, right? Three to four players. So minimum three, maximum four. You have to have a team. Let me show you guys exactly how I do this. This is easy as well. You might be thinking, oh, I don't have a friend. Join a camp. If you join a camp, this process becomes so much more easier. Wipe out zombies at the door. Easy peasy. Stronghold patrol complete. Guys, just like that, another 18,000 experience points. So as you can see now, I've got 36,000 experience points. See, this is the max. I just need 3,000 more experience points. So it's very easy to catch up with the server level. Let's go. We've got the Lost City. Whenever we go to the Lost City, I get to use free ammo, okay? <laughs> and most of the missions, you just need to look out for this green box. Even in Hold the Line, you will see this green box. This is the green box I was talking about. This is the ammo crate that I was talking about. The game gives you free ammo. Use the free ammo, bro. I've also got another way for you for to quickly complete this side of the mission. You allow your friends to go to the right. You just hop towards the end. So you can start two parts at the same time. See, Ideal knows exactly what I'm talking about. So Ideal is going to control here. Two players are in there shutting down those zombies. I'm just going to be here. The guy who has this rail gun, let him shoot the gate. You don't need to interfere. You see, there's more ammo here as well. There will be some zombies that come from this side. You need to deal with them. You see, there were a few that just spawned up. So this is my duty. This is my area. Easy to clean up this area on your own. You see, those two guys are still not done in there. And after this, I believe there's going to be some from here. And also, the mini boss is going to come out here. There you go. Corruptor's out. Easy peasy, man. Then just move on to the next site. 
My favorite weapon as the secondary is my heavy sniper. You get to aim for the head whenever you want. You don't have to ADS in with a heavy sniper. See, I'm not ADSing it in. I'm getting those golden numbers. Once in a while you miss, you get the white. It doesn't matter because it's still 2,000 damage. Okay, I'm going to leave three bullets in here. I'm not going to go lower than three bullets, okay? I'll show you exactly why. Because later, you will get a golden opportunity for a three-bullet shot. And you want to maximize that. So the rest of it is just assault rifle. This is that opening window when he vomits. He's going to go down on his knees. Look at the damage, man. 6,000, 5,000. You're going to get three shots out of that. So you always want to make sure you have minimum three bullets on your heavy sniper. You continue the assault. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, bra. It's like that you level up, man. Let me look at my level again. So is he 39,420 maxed out already, bro? Server level cap 49. We are at level 49. This is the maximum. So tomorrow, when the server level cap is 50, I will start off on level 50. It'll just push me over. So it's it's really nice. You just have to max it out again tomorrow. You're always one step ahead of the following day's level. That's very important for your crafting, etc. So tomorrow, I'll immediately be level 50 already. Signing off. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.